This is Yochi Driesen of National Journal, reporting from Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. The UAE is an unusually small country whose unusually large amount of oil has made it one of the wealthiest nations in the world. It's fond of attention-grabbing buildings. Dubai has the world's only indoor ski slope, and the Burj Khalifa, one of the world's tallest skyscrapers, which has a cameo in Mission Impossible. Abu Dhabi, in the building behind me, has the world's fastest roller coaster. When it comes to the complex politics of the Middle East, the UAE has been an afterthought, a bit player, rendered almost irrelevant because of its small size. But all of that is changing because of the growing tensions over Iran's nuclear program. The UAE now finds itself in the center of an emerging American strategy to counter Iran, one that has both a carrot and a stick. In stark contrast to the situation in Iran, the U.S. has vocally endorsed the UAE's plan to build the first nuclear facilities in the Arab world. It's given it extensive technical support. It's endorsed it in universal and in, in international organizations. And it's allowed Westinghouse and other large corporations from the United States to participate in the building of the four nuclear plants. The idea is that it might show, by indicating American support for a civilian nuclear program, that Iran has nothing to fear from abandoning its nuclear ambitions for a weapon and converting them into ambitions for a civilian program. That's the carrot. At the same time, the U.S. has dramatically ramped up its weapon sales to the UAE, selling it billions of dollars of advanced helicopters, advanced jet fighters, and advanced radar systems. All of them are designed to help it counter a strike from Iran and, if necessary, attack Iran itself. That's the stick. The idea is, hopefully, combine the one with the other, and Iran will stop its nuclear weapons program. Unfortunately, there's little indication the strategy is working. Iran is threatened to close the Straits of Hormuz, the most important oil shipping route in the world, and has vowed to continue its weapons program no matter the cost. That, in turn, has led Saudi Arabia, another of the world's wealthiest nations and a neighbor of the UAE, to promise that if Iran gets a nuclear weapon, it will pursue one itself. That, in turn, has led to speculation that Jordan, Kuwait, Egypt, and other major Arab countries may try to develop nuclear weapons of their own, leading to a nuclear race in the Arab world, a source of deep concern to the U.S. The only thing that's certain is that unless tensions subside quickly, Abu Dhabi will have, and the Emirates will have, the first Arab nuclear program, and they won't have the last. This is Yochid Reason from Abu Dhabi.